Today I will introduce my new machine. This is a 4-axis machine. You can see the spindle can turn in around. And also there is another knife uh, on one side. That means this machine is a 5-axis machine. This is the spindle. It can work on wood, acrylic, aluminum, and something like that for the mold. Meanwhile, and uh, the knife, it will work for the, this is the knife, it will work for the form. Now uh, you can see the spindle, it is turning around. Later, I will introduce you how to use it step by step. Now, I would like to introduce the controller. Uh, you can see here is a computer, because now everybody can use the computer. So that's why we choose the computer as our controller. It will be much convenient and much easier for the operator to use the machine and to learn the machine. Meanwhile, you also can make your program here. It will be much easier as well. So now you can see here, we have some buttons here. This one is for power on. This one is power off. And uh, here, the, here is one switch. This switch is for the spindle and the knife it uh, change to each other. When you be here, then the spindle working. When you turn on, then the knife will work. Here is for the uh, oil mist cooling system. When you use, use it, that means uh, when you use the, the soft metal, uh, like uh, aluminum, copper, brass, something like that, then the aluminum will work. It will uh, uh, lubrication the tools. Here the emergency button. When you have something urgent, then push it. Then the machine will stop there. Meanwhile, we also equip the, the hand wheels to you. Uh, that means when you work for the small pieces, like the uh, when you want to set the work uh, piece start point or some small things, then use the hand wheels. It will be much easier. Here is our cabinet inside. Uh, because we are the professional uh, CNC routers or fiber lasers machine maker, uh, we, we always export the machine to uh, make the machines according to the customer of country standards. Just like uh, if you, you are from Europe, if you are uh, from Britain, Germany, something like that, then we, our cabinet will be according to the CE standard if you are from usa or if you are from canada uh, from north america then we will make the cabinet uh, from the ulce standard and uh, in order to to reduce uh, the difficulties for the customer to use the machine and uh, to reduce the problems then we make the we have diagrams for the customers meanwhile we have uh, uh, the cables we have different color for different cable, different use. You can see here, uh, red color, light gray color, and uh, yellow color, blue color, something like that. Meanwhile, meanwhile, we also do one thing very important. Every cable has the English labels there. That is only our company to do that. For example, we, we can we can look clearly for example you can see here this one x negative uh, over travel y positive over travel z s e something like that you can see every have the english label labels there that means when you receive my machine if you have some questions then the max the english labels will help you to find the problem very easy and very fast. That is our profession. Now I will teach you how to use the machine, how to use our 4-axis machine and our oscillating knife machine. First, uh, we teach you how to make the machine back home. Look, this button. Remember, this button is for the spindle. So when the machine back home, make the machine on the spindle side, on the spindle side, okay, on the spindle side, then we can back home the machine. 
Now, when you back home, uh, when you open the machine, it will have one blank here. It will need uh, to tell you you need to back home. If you don't have, then operation here. Then all back home, all back home. Okay. If you press here, then the machine all back home. Remember here, here is also one G54. That is for the spindle back home. Okay. J54 is for the spindle and uh, if you don't want to use use spindle you want to use the osmolality knife then you press here vibration vib vibration knife up and down okay then you press it here then here we will change it to the J59 remember for the knife here it's J59 you need to press vibration knife up and down first just now I teach you when you back home what you need to care about. One thing you also need to, to know. When you want to make the machine home, make sure the knife it is up first. Make the here is up first. Okay, just like uh, something like this. Make it up. Good morning everyone. Today I would like to introduce my ATC machine. This machine is very special and uh, today I will show you everything step by step. First, here, this is a controller, English controller. This controlled by computer, so it will be very easy to use. Look here, here is a USB and here is every button. Uh, this button for the machine, this button for the computer. When you press, it will be open, power off, emergency, stop. And here is a keyboard. Now we look here. Here is the camera. This is a camera. This is the osmolality knife. And this is a spindle. Later I will introduce you uh, everything. What's the function for this? Okay. Now uh, this is a camera. For camera, it means it will scan everything and then use a knife or use a spindle to cut. For the osmolality knife. It usually cutting the foam like this, like this. This is the foam, and also cut the cutting box like this. Cutting box. It will be cut like by this. And for the spindle, it can use a lot of things. For example, it can cut the MDF board, wood, aluminium, and the other uh, acrylic, something like that. Now here is the two magazines because this machine is ATC machine. So we have 10 tools to do the, uh, for the spindle, for the two it change. You can, you can look here. This is number 10, right? Number 9, number 8. And uh, here, it has 10, 10 tools. Yeah, number 10. Here is the tool sensor. Uh, it means the machine will measure the tool to the calibration itself by this. Later we will show you. This is a vacuum table. Uh, you can look, our machine we use uh, 8 millimeters uh, the groove. It will be very big and uh, it means the suction will be very big. Look here, this is the suction. Tubes, we use the big ones. Here, this one is the cylinder. It for the table. Uh, position. We have two in front and we also have three in the left side. Three left side. When you power on the machine, the first step, remember, for every machine, you need to back home. Look. Here. Operation. And here, X back home, Y back home, Z back home. See? and uh, you can press here all back home when you press it you can see here the machine will be back home it will be Z back home first now it is Z and then it will be the X and the Y now X and the Y
Okay, that's okay now. It stopped here. It means it has been. Now I introduce the controller how to use. Now let me first to introduce uh, what it is. Okay, look here. Here is uh, this is a mechanical uh, coordinate, and uh, here it means machine where it is. And uh, here is the x, y, uh, x, y, z, and uh, this is for the uh, workpiece clear to zero. And uh, now let's introduce here. Introduce here. This one spindle. It means spindle running. For example, I press it. You will see the spindle is running. The spindle lift. It means uh, the spindle cylinder. It will be down or up. Okay, let me press it. Uh, mist cooling. It is for the uh, two sensor for cleaning it. Uh, this one I will not show you uh, because when the do the two calibration, it will be cleaning itself. No need to use it. Dust cleaner. It is for the spindle dust cover up and down. For example, now down, up, down, up. That's all. This is the vibrating knife on or the ice, uh, on or the off. It means when you press it, the uh, knife it will be uh, vibrating itself. For example, you can see you can hear the voice for the knife. This this is the vibration knife. Up and down. When you press it, it will be up and down for the knife. Let me show you. You can see the knife down, knife up, knife down, knife up. Okay. First thing I introduce the all, I teach you how to use it. First, we use the spindle first. We use the spindle first. Okay. For example, we want to work this piece. Now, what we should do first? We should set the work starting point first. Now let's back to the let's back to the controller. And uh, we need to make the spindle cylinder down first. We make the spindle uh, cylinder down first. You can see here when you make it, make sure the spindle cylinder. Spindle cylinder, it will be down. And the same thing also for the knife. When you set this, also make the cylinder down. Okay, now it is down. Okay, now it is down. Uh, in order to make a safety, we it's better we use the hand wheel. It's better we use the hand wheel. Now look here, you change it. Here it means continuous. This one continuous, and the second one hand wheel moves, and the we choose the second one, and wheel. Now we use this. Now we set it. Spindle working start point. For example, it here. Now we use this to set. Now we use this to move. It will be very stiff. Now we use this to move slowly. You can see it slowly. You can control the speed. When you make it here something like this, it will touch the surfboard. That means it is okay. Use the hand wheel to touch it, the surfboard to the corner. That is the work starting point. Now, when you set there, you make sure here to make them to clear to zero. X clear to zero. Please confirm. Okay. 
for example here x is zero y clear okay y is zero z clear z is also zero now the relative g54 you can see everything is zero that means the working start point we set well we set the machine start point well second we load the g code now here file Here, if we want to work on a G code, we will press here, load G code. If images, we open the this one, open D chart. Now we load the G code, for example. Press it. Then find the G code. For example, if this one is the file we want to work, just choose it and open. That's all. Now we load the file. Now where we find it? You can see here program. Now you, it will. This is the file. Uh, just now we load. Just now I show you how to set the spindle work starting point. Now I teach you uh, how to set the uh, vibrating light uh, working starting point. The same thing like the spindle. Now let's back to the screen. We also need to make the knife cylinder down first. Vibration knife. Look. It is done. This one is done. We also... Same thing. We also need order to make safety. We also make the hand wheel. To move. Here, I need to uh, see one thing more. When you back home, make sure, make sure your knife, your knife, look here, the blade is to the spindle direction. Spindle direction. The blade to the spindle direction. When it is back home, the knife should be the spindle direction. It's very important. Now we also use the working uh, the hand wheel to move it. It's a Z down. Y and X. Okay. We also use this. We work on this form and move to the working start point. We need it slowly. Thing. Also, it means cut the surfboard. Then it means the working start point. Z here is set already. Now let's back to the screen. We also do the same thing. Clear them to zero. X. Okay. Zero. Y. Okay. Zero. Z. Okay, zero. Uh, remember, for the knife, it is the G59. G59. This is the working start point, G59. The spindle is G54, G55, something like that. But uh, the, for the knife, it is only the G59. And also, because this machine, we have the full change. For the spindle, it is from T1 to T10. And uh, for the knife, it is T10. 11. Now we set the knife or working piece start point. It's already. Now we back to the screen. Now we use it, the program. For example, we set the program already. Now we input file. And here we need to open the DXF uh, because for the knife it only work with pictures. We press it. For example, for example, this one is the circle we want to cut. Okay. Open. Now it will be here. 
remember the color is white color is white it means the machine uh, it is a uh, standard it's uh, white and when the white color the machine will not work if we want to work it we choose the color for it here we have green red yellow light green something like this you can choose any color for it for example we choose the red For example, we choose the red for you. Okay. We choose the circle first and choose the red. You can see now, it is the red. Now you can see it is the red. Okay, we choose it. Now come back here. Layer. Layer. To here. And here is the two number. Remember for the knife it is number eleven and the speed. We can set we can set here and here we can set here the layer output two. Remember for the knife it is only the T eleven. Okay, speed here is uh, advanced. Advanced we will only get here material thickness, final depth, pass depth. Okay. If everything well, we okay. Okay. Now you, at, it is uh, uh, we set the layer for, uh, well. We create to the uh, G code here. Create file. Okay, here I want to see once more uh, because we, this machine we have the knife and uh, the CCD and the spindle. So in the past I introduced you. If you use the CCD, uh, you choose yes. It means CCD work first, then the knife or then the spindle. If you don't use it, we choose no. This one we introduced before. And here I just see one thing. Now we don't use it, for example. No. Okay. Create file. F3. Now we can see here, program. G code. Now, this one is the G code for the circle we want to work. Before the machine working, uh, we need to set the two uh, measure the two lengths first. And for the measure the tool, it only measure the spindle tools. For the knife, for the vibrating knife, it doesn't need the measure tool. Now let me teach you how to measure the tool. Look here. Here is the coordinate. Press it. Now here, uh, measure tools and the tool change. Tool change. It means from which tool to change to which tool. And uh, here, the multi tool measure. This one is for the tool measure. For example, uh, this machine we have ten. It means ten. If we want to measure ten, we choose it. If we want to measure nine, we choose it. If we want to measure all, then just choose them. Then when you press it, it will be measured too. When you press, it will be measured too. Okay, now let's make the two calibration. Make a sample for you. For example, now we want to measure the spindle. Now it is T9. It means number 9. We choose a 9. Okay, we also measure the number one, number two. We need to press it. But before we do it, make sure, look here. G59, it is for the, G59, it is for the knife. We must uh, change it to the G54. Change it, just uh, to the spindle, spindle lift. Okay, close it first. You can see G54 and also the spindle down, right? Now let's back. Number one, number nine. For example, we measure these two. We press it, okay. Look. Okay. 
change it to the number one first. It will be measured one by one. It will clean first. Now it will change to the number nine. Okay, it's finished. It means the two tools had been to the calibration. It's finished. Today I will teach you how to use the CCD machine. Where is the CCD? Today we will teach you how to use it. Now first here is a general pitch. Now first we choose the F2 parameter. Then you can see here, if we, we want to use CCD, we will choose. If we don't use, we will choose no. Now we choose CCD, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay now yeah. we choose CCD first. And then F3, camera. Okay, if the light, then you can see the CCD will scan here. If the light is not light, then you can choose the F5 CCD light. Then you can see here, the light on CCD will be open. So, okay. The second step, we will set the Z axis, orange is the turned part. Then we go here. Hand view. Okay. Hand view. In the hand view, we move. Z to the material surface. When it touches, it will be okay. You can see now it touches. That is the material. Then it's okay. 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 Z zero. Okay. The third step is we choose the file and then open the package. Then choose the DXX. Open it. Okay, this is the file you want to work. The next step is we choose the four point, four marked point to marked. And the second two. And it's also marked. Now you can see there one, two, three, four. The fourth step we will choose the different layers. For example, for this, uh, we choose the first one, each one. For example, if this one, uh, we choose the blue color. Okay, second, uh, okay, different color. Then we choose the uh, F1. You can see here, we choose three different color. It will be here. If your machine is ATC machine, that means we can choose different tools here. For example, for the first one, uh, red color, we choose the T1 or T2, T3, okay? Uh, the last here, we will choose the different uh, parameters, thickness, depth, something like that. Oh. And then when you finish them, then okay. Then F3, create. Then it will be into the machine.
then you can choose here program then to find where your program is now the fifth step we will move the CCD camera move the CCD camera to find the marked point we use the hand view now you can see here no point we use to find any point it's okay Okay. okay, the first point you can see, just in the camera, then it will be okay. Now it has been in the camera, it means it will be okay. Now we press the start, F9, then the camera will scan it. Yeah. You can see. Okay, it's up.